Okay, in this video, we're thinking about a view that a lot of people have about the Christian faith, that the Christian faith is narrow-minded and bigoted and intolerant. And people think that because Christianity claims to be the only true religion. But what a lot of people don't realise is that Christianity is not the only one to make that claim. Hindu, um, sorry, Judaism makes the same claim and so does Islam. But the other religions, they tend to say something a little bit different, but what they say cannot be true. So, for example, Hinduism says that um, you know, all the different religions lead to God in the same way that all the rivers lead to the ocean. They say as long as you're sincere and genuinely believe what is true in you, and you're sincere about the way you do your religion, yeah, God's going to be good with it. It'll lead to God. But here's the problem, okay? Number one, we can think about it doctrinally in terms of what they believe. Christianity says all other religions are false. Hinduism says all other religions are true. That means Hinduism is saying that Christianity is true. That means it's true that all other religions are wrong. And so you see, Hinduism is self-defeating. It cannot be true on that basis. But anyway, it's a ridiculous claim that if you're sincere, it's going to get you there. Imagine you're driving along and you, 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 you don't, you're not sure of the way to go. You want to go to, to say, Norfolk. You wind your, your window down, you, you, you pull someone over and you say, look, can you tell me, what's the, how can I get to Norfolk? What is the right road to Norfolk? Imagine they say, hey, there isn't a right road or a wrong road. As long as you're sincere, you can take whichever route you feel is best. You think... What an idiot. Uh, you know, there are certain routes that will get you there and certain roads that will take you there. And they are the only roads that will take you there. All the other ones don't. They take you somewhere else. That's why you have maps that you can work out the way. And, and anyway, we only apply this idea that, oh, they can all be true to religion. We, don't, we know it doesn't apply to anything else. Why would we apply it to religion? For example, my wife's a school teacher. She teaches children and imagine she said to them, what's two plus two? And little Shawnee puts his hand up and says, ah, oh, two plus two, miss, it equals five. And then someone else puts their hands up and it's little Johnny this time. And he says, no, miss, two plus two equals seven. And then Kelly, she puts her hand up and she says, no, miss, two plus two equals 15. And, th and then Jade puts her hand up. She says, no, miss, two plus two equals 11. And then finally, the last little boy puts his hand up and says, no, miss, two plus two equals four. Imagine the teacher said, well, do you know what, all of you? You're all right. You're all right in your own way. And as long as you sincerely believe that, then it's true for you. Now, no one would say about that teacher, oh, what a good broad-minded, open-minded teacher. People would say, that is a rubbish teacher. Sack her, get rid of her. And they would say that because we all know that the reality is truth is exclusive. Two plus two equals four. All other answers are false. Now that's not to say we're being nasty or horrible about all the other answers. It's just true, they are wrong. And when Christianity claims to be true, it's not trying to be nasty about all the other religions. They're actually, you know, the claim is, that, um, or the belief is, that they are actually wrong. And it makes sense that they cannot all be right. The question is, which religion is true? Because if there is a God, then there is a truth about him. And as all the religions contradict one another, they cannot all be right, only one of them can really be right. So we're going to be thinking about why we believe Christianity is true.